Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this uh, is your, right at the beginning of Chapter 1. It's a pre-lesson to Chapter 1, so we're going to just uh, talk about some review and what we're going to be getting into in this chapter. Place value, addition, and subtraction to 1 million is what this chapter is all about, okay? We're going to be using lots of blocks and models to show, so share what you know right here. So here's a, a picture to, to show what 38 is. So write the missing numbers right here, okay? So here's 38 right here. So it says, how many blank tens are there and how many ones are there? Tens are these things. These are called longs right here. We'll learn later. Okay, so here's one ten, two ten, three ten. So there's three tens. And then how many single tens? How many ones do you see? And I see eight of them. So there's going to be three tens and uh, eight ones right there. Okay, how about this one right here? 73. How many tens and how many ones? Okay, hopefully you guys can see that there's seven tens right here and then the three ones right there. Okay, that's easy, right? You guys are thinking, hey, this is easy. Well, it is right here. Okay, without doing a picture, um, uh, actually, I am going to do a picture on these ones here. So write the missing numbers. Okay, so we're going to write uh, 400s, 7 tens is how many tens right here? And then 900s, 4 tens is how many tens? Well, let's do a picture right here. Okay, so um, uh, let's go back to, um, this is called a flat, we'll learn in uh, uh, chapter 1 right here. This uh, 100 right here equals 10 tens. Can you see if I sliced them all up right there and spread them all out? Can you see the 10 tens right here? So this uh, flat right here of 100 is equal to 10 tens right there. Okay, so if I want to do 400 of them right there, I'm going to do 4 of those right there. Okay, so here's my 400s right here and then here's my seven tens one two three four five six seven okay remember how many tens are in here you guys there's ten tens here there's ten tens here ten tens ten tens plus these seven right there so how many tens total is that that gives me forty seven tens okay so when i see four hundreds seven tens then there's going to be 47 tens total because they're asking me how many tens right there all right let's try this one nine hundreds four tens okay well here's here's my nine hundreds right there and then the four tens okay so there's ten tens ten tens ten tens ten 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 there's ten and all of these ten tens plus these four right there okay so that's going to get me ninety four tens total right there okay so that makes sense let's do this without pictures seven hundreds and seven tens how many tens is that going to be that will be seventy seven tens how about six hundreds and two tens that's going to get me 62 tens right there. And then 13 hundreds and 9 tens is going to get me uh, 13 hundred or 13 with a 9, 139 tens. Okay? Easy, huh? All right, add or subtract. Okay, now I did this old school. I probably should have done it with the blocks right there, but that's okay, you guys. Uh, we'll do some more of that later in some later lessons with blocks. Okay, so when I'm adding two digits with two digits, I'm going to go ahead and add the ones. 8 plus 3 is 11. I counted with my fingers. 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so I'm going to put a 1 down here for the 1's for the 11, and I'm going to carry the other one, the, the 10 part, up above here and make it go there. There's my 11 right there. There's the, the 1 for the 10's, there's the 1 for the 1's, so there's 11 right there. Now I'm going to add all these 10's. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, so that adds up to 71. Okay, let's do that with this one right here. Okay, 6 plus 7 is 13, so the 3 for the 1's goes down here, and the 10 for the, 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 the 1 for the 13 part, the 1 for the 10's goes up here. So there's my 13 right there. 13 right there. Now I can add these 10's. This 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15, so I'm going to go ahead and write that down right there. 153. Okay, now when I subtract, you guys, I can't do 5 minus 8. So what I'm going to do is take a 10s out of this 7 right here and change that to a 6, and then change that 5, that five to 15 right there. Okay, so I took a 10s out of here and added it to the 5. So instead of 5, it became 15. So now I can do 15 minus 8 now is 7. Okay, and then now I can go ahead and do, now it's 6 minus 3, 6 tens minus 3 tens is going to get me 3 tens, so the answer is 37. Okay, let's try that over here. Okay, 3 minus 7, I can't do, so I'm going to borrow from this tens column and add it to this, so it's going to become 13 now. So I'm going to change the 4 to a 3, and then change this 3 to 13. I borrowed from this tens and added tens to the ones right here. 
So 13 minus 7, 13 minus 7 is 6, and then 3 minus 2, I'm sorry, 3 minus 1 is 2, so this becomes 26. Okay, I kind of did two steps in one. Okay, when you're just subtracting and you don't need to borrow, then don't borrow. 9 minus 3 is 6 right there, and then uh, 8 minus 2 is also 6, so 89 minus 23 is 66. And I think you've probably done that before. If not, you'll see some more of that later. All right, so here we go. Detective Danny is looking at clues to find the stadium capacity for AT&T Park, which is the home of the San Francisco Giants. Okay, I know a lot of you guys are probably some other league uh, uh, fans. Uh, Danny is uh, checking out the AT&T Park, the San Francisco Giants. So here's some clues, you guys, okay? So it says the five-digit number has a four in the greatest place value and a three in the least place value. Well, let's deal with the five-digit number right there, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. And we always separate it by commas after every three. So this is the period of the ones position right here. This is this is in the thousands period right here, okay? All right, so now there's my five-digit number, and it has a four in the greatest place value. So I'm going to put a four right here, and it has a three in the least place value. So a three is going to go right there. Okay, all right, and then next uh, it says the digit in the thousandths spot. So this is the thousandth spot. This is the ten thousand spot. The digit in the thousandth spot uh, has a place value of one thousand. So I'm going to put the number one right there. Okay, all right, and the next clue is the digit in the hundredths place value. Well, this is the tens place value. This is the hundredths place value. The digits in the hundredths place value is five times the digits in the thousands. So five times one is five. So I'm going to put five right there. Okay, and then it says um, there is a zero in the ten spot. So just place a zero right there. Okay, easy enough. So how many, how many, uh, what's the seat capacity at uh, AT&T Park? 41,503. Okay, don't say 503. And means a decimal. We'll talk about that later. But this is represented as 41,503, not 41,503. Don't say the and. That's for later use, you guys. Okay? All right. I hope this helps you guys. And if it does, uh, then go ahead and click like if your parents let you. And subscribe again if your parents left you. And have a great year, you guys. Take care.